Hello guys, it's me Gluff back again and would you also like to play the characters we don't want to play but make them actually viable? Because because some items just owns the best items in the game but then you have that one that's a chicken and dies at the pirate cave boss. So in this video I wanted to talk about the characters that we are o often just overlooking and what sets and items can make them really really strong and actually even take out other options. The assassin. So when I'm going to compare the daggers I'm going to use hazer.net because it allows uh, for easy comparison in the DPS of the daggers and uh, in the first step I'm going to go over what like daggers are the best to get. And then I'm gonna do poison and then just quick with armor and ring. And in this video I'm gonna exclude any orcs items because they are in overall more overpowered and grants you more damage and so. And it's not that easy accessible by people that is not in any discord or so. So I'm gonna keep this as simple as possible. So for the daggers, I'm not including cedar here because I think it's one of the rarest items to get and it's just a pain. So like even I don't have one right now, so uh, I'm not including that one. So the best dagger to get outside Oryx 3, not cedar, is the cutters or the cutter, corruption cutter, drops from the second boss in library, which is kind of easy accessible because it's a godland dungeon that drops. You can see here on base damage it has a no, like almost 1000 more damage per second than the best uh, in uh, second place. Then we will have the Etherite which is not that hard to get anymore. You just have to do Haunted Cemetery and hope for ST bag. It's still a pain but it's easier than before. Then on the third uh, place we have the Spirit Dagger which has a little bit less DPS than Etherite, and then we have the Ripper. I accidentally restarted the page, but I added all the daggers again. And Foul Dagger is probably the easiest dagger to get uh, that is like good enough, and it is has the lowest damage of all these uh, UTs and STs. But I really think Corruption Cutter is something to go for, but the only problem is the shot pattern. So then Etherite will be the best dagger to get outside uh, Seadirk and Oryx ones. We can see here that the shot pattern is hard to get all bullets in. You have to stand very close. And the true range is about four tiles away. Which is a problem if you are doing a hard boss and you don't want to get close. But it's a really good dagger damage wise if you can land both shots. Now when I concluded that cutters were the best dagger to get outside the worst ones, it's time now for the poisons. So I'm going to go over four different poisons here. We can start off by the parasitic concoction. So this poison has a low damage, it's only 500 damage. But will give the enemies you hit with the curse. And curse is really good right now. Because it's 1.5 times the damage. So you can do a lot of damage. Especially if you solo something. You can, If you get the paralyze in and you can hit this. It will grant you more damage over time than any other poison. Then we have the bottled medososuan. And the MP cost is very high. It costs 120. But on equip gives you 2 defense and 4 dexterity. And the 4 dexterity, of course, helps your DPS a lot. And the hook with this one is that this gives 600 HP per second damage uh, within 4 tiles over 3 seconds. The damage output is higher than Murky Toxin, for example, and tier 6. It, it's 1800 damage in total. But the only problem is that it's not that friendly to moving targets. You would like to throw this on a st stationary target to get all the damage in like an avatar or orcs too uh, when he's not moving in the wine cellar. 
The murky toxin throws out two poisons, one that give 750 damage and one 250 damage. This will give a total damage of 1000 damage and it will durate during 4 seconds. But the problem is that the smaller bomb, which is the high second target, uh, is only two tiles. So you have to aim and shoot precise if you want this to hit. But the positive side with this is the 3 attack and 3 dexterity, which will help your DPS. Now we're coming to that area that this is a rare item and could be hard obtainable. But if you do enough miners, you will probably get this. And on a keeper event, I've, I've gotten it two times on a keeper event. And I feel like this is a poison worth getting. Because this poison costs 100. Gives 4 attack, 4 dexterity and will armor break your enemies for 4 seconds. The problem with this is that the shooting uh, time is very slow and the tiles like the radius is only four tiles so you have to hit this and you have to time it perfectly if you want this to hit because the enemy has to be damageable like you it that it can take damage it can't be uh, invulnerable then it won't hit so you have to aim it and time it correctly but if you do this this is groundbreaking it's one of two items in the game that armor breaks it's the ogmer and this one this is often called the pogmer because it's a poison ogmer see so yeah it's a item really worth getting if you want to play a good assassin now back uh, to hazer i'm just going to pick the armors that i feel that is the best ones for assassin so if you don't want to go for damage, the Brigandine is very nice because you get the extra HP, which can like make you stronger. And 14 defense is okay. It's decent. It's uh, only 5 less than Wormhide, which is one of the tankiest armors. Uh, and only 7 uh, defense less than the Leviathan armor from O3. If you want to go for damage wise, you should go for the Tene. It gives 8 attack and 8 dexterity. And with uh, Pogmer, this will give you 12 dexterity and 12 attack plus. And that's a really good uh, DPS boost to your assassin. To make this video too long, that was all the items that I think stands out for Assassin, which makes it a good class. I think it's uh, underplayed a lot, uh, especially in the high-end uh, endgame of players. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a fun class to play, actually. But that's everything for today. Like the video if you want me to go over more classes like Rogue and maybe Mystic or some classes that you think has very low dps or are just bad overall tell me that in the comments down below and follow my twitch and i'll see you guys in the next one see you later bye